Chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank Hello. you very much for joining us. So we'll keep, we'll, with you. we'll keep that live shot up there. Um, as we do anticipate, we will be hearing from the President shortly. He is expected to sign this executive action at the southern border. Why yeah. now? Why is he taking this action now? I think, I think Bill said it best because it's five months before an election. But you know, Sandra, I thought the border was secure. Time and time again, Secretary Mayorkas has come in front of Congress and testified the border is secure. Joe Biden said it, Kamala Harris has said it, the border czar herself said it. So suddenly now they're gonna, they're gonna you do some executive order 212F, use the authority they've always had, as the speaker pointed out. So I think this is just like, you know, oh, Shazam, we're five months before an election and the American people are tired of an open border on pace to get to 12 million people. And the American people, I think, understand this was willfully, intentionally, deliberately created. This mess by the Biden administration went on day one, they changed three policies. They said, no more building the wall, no more remain in Mexico while we evaluate your claim. And when you get here, you will not be detained. You will be released and given some court date four or five years in the future. That's why everyone's given the thumbs up and smiling for the cameras when they come to the border. They deliberately created it. Now they're going to have some, I assume, some sham way to try to deal with it five months before an election. Well, um... The, this is a White House who has, has pinned blame on Republicans and say, you guys haven't been getting this done, that there could have been congressional action taken a long time ago. To that, you say what? We passed a bill, H.R. 2, over a year ago. A bunch of that a, a legislation came through the House Judiciary Committee. We worked on it. It was a good piece of legislation, strong bill that would have put in law what I think the president can do. Many of the stuff, things he can do under 212 if he really wants to, mm -hmm. but he, I don't think he's willing to. But we passed that legislation over a year ago. Okay. Um this is obviously an issue that's gone far beyond the southern border. We see city after city dealing yeah. with the influx of migrants, including right here in New York City, where Mayor Adams is now finally talking about the number of migrants who are committing crimes right here in New York. Listen. Illegal gun dealer does not say, uh, let me see your immigration status. <laughs> you know, our intelligence is looking into it to see the small number of, um, of those who are committing these crimes. The overwhelming number of migrants and asylum seekers are just trying to take their next step on the American journey. But there's a small number that are violent and we are really leaning into the People are fed up with this. I mean, it is coming to a city and town near you. Uh, what is yep. a growing migrant crisis? And now the number yep. of crimes is on the rise committed by these illegal immigrants. No, it sure is. And it, it's not just the crime, which is terrible enough. I mean, just ask Lake and Riley's family. I mean, we, we have we see these examples, the police officers in New York. But it's also the impact that has on your school system, the impact that has on your health care system, hospitals, and the wait times and everything else that happened when you get an influx of people who are coming here because, again, the intentional deliberate decisions made by the Biden administration on January 20th, 2021, they decided they were going to do this, overturn the policies President Trump had in place that were working mm -hmm. and go with this open borders policy. And again, the implications are for all over the country, communities are, are seeing the effects. Well, you say he's doing this because it's a few months before an election. Perhaps this is an administration and the Biden campaign is seeing polls like this. Uh, this is his approval numbers, Biden on border security. This is a Fox News poll released on May 16th when asked, do you approve or disapprove of the way the president has handled border security? He has a low approval rating of 33%, 64% disapproval rating. And he's not even making... Um, those on the left happy, including Congresswoman Jayapal. Not sure if you heard this. Listen. What's happening at the border cannot be solved by enforcement actions only. They re what it really needs is a modernization of the entire legal immigration system and legal pathways and resources to process people. Two things that Republicans have been completely unwilling to provide. When Donald Trump tried to shut down the border, it didn't work. I'm disappointed that the, the president has, you know, sort of gone into the same frame as Donald Trump at a very time when we need to make a distinction between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. So that was a Democrat standing next to our own Chad Pergram on Capitol Hill today saying, I'm disappointed yeah. the president's sort of gone the same frame as Donald Trump on this issue. Your reaction? 
Well, uh, we'll see what this executive order really does and, and what, what, what they're going to do with it. I, I can't envision the president because, you know, he's taken all kinds of positions to satisfy the left, the left which now controls the Democrat Party. Um, we'll see. What I do know is the American people have common sense. And there's a reason why the vast majority of Americans, the vast majority of Americans are opposed to his open border policy because they see the impacts it's having on their community. That The American people get it. They, they understand this is a big issue because it's a big issue that they understand that. Uh, Congressman, I appreciate you joining us. Uh, we do await the president uh, about 16 minutes late now, but he is expected to step up to that podium shortly and sign the executive action. We'll be listening for his remarks. Great. Congressman, uh, Congressman, thank you very much.